Oh man, now I'm playing Alexander Donchenko. All right, another exciting opportunity. Okay, how am I gonna develop all of this crap? <laughs> what, what is this position? This is a really awkward starting position, I think. Um, I mean, I gotta get the queen into play, but she's just gonna end up versus a fianchetted bishop, I think. Um, I think I wanna play h4. I'm gonna play h4. Because the queen needs to participate at some point in the game. And I don't like walking into play on the long diagonal. Like if b6 or g6 here, I think I'm going to do this. So he's going for it. And now let's do this. <laughs> is this good? I don't know. Is this chess? Wow. Donchenko is great. Donchenko is just a great dude and a great player. I got to see, meet him in San Francisco and love the guy. Happy to get a chance to play him in a semi-serious game. All right, let's go ahead and play d4 here. Uh, I want to castle queenside, but the rook is on d1. It's a problem. I'm going to have to move the rook at some point. Okay, I think I'm going to play this bishop here. Okay, a weird setup, but I don't know that this is a bad one. I kind of like the way I got things going right now. Okay, knight g6, I think. Oh, he can't play knight g6. His knights are here and here. Um, okay, let's try this move. Sure seems natural. Uh oh, that exchange. I didn't expect that somehow. Somehow I didn't think that that was a likely continuation. Chess says, fun fact, Donchenko once completely stumped Robert Hess with over the board puzzles in San Francisco. He did that to me too. I was there, but no one was surprised that he stumped me. Everyone was like, yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. Maybe here and then over here. That looks natural. Let's do that. E3, and then the knight comes to E2. Um, I still don't know what I want to do here. That's unclear to me. Okay, H6. I think he's going to bring his queen out here. Fair enough. All right, this seems natural, so let's just do that. Okay. So, he's going e4. Now, I can play f3, but it makes this bishop suck e. Do I want to play f3? What are my options? Maybe not good. I might need to play f3. And I make this bishop bad, but so be it. And then knight c4 is tickling e3. Then I might play rook d3, and ah, what is this? I don't know. I think I got to play f3. I don't think I can forever leave these soft. Um, so now this pawn is soft. I think this is a likely move at some point. A likely lift after a tickling of the e3 pawn. But this move isn't necessarily so bad, I think, because I need to castle anyway, so I need to get this rook off the d1, so it's not in my way. Um, I do need to be careful about timing, though, because if these moves happen at the right time, then I might find that everything's kind of wrong tactically. He's gonna castle kingside! Oh my gosh! What? 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 What are you doing? No way that's a good idea. No way! Horse rubbish. All right, rook g1. I do not believe that it is correct to castle kingside here. No friggin' way. That has gotta be a bad play. That has gotta be asking for it. <laughs> All right. I think bishop h3 with the idea of pushing here and then opening up firepower here looks real tempting. Uber tempting. Can I do that? Let's do that. I also like that I'm closing this down, so if I push g5, we're not getting a queen trade. Zibit says, tell us how you really feel, Sam. I don't think this was a good idea for him. <laughs> I thought I was conveying that clearly. I mean, okay, he's a great player, so 
I'm, I may be evaluating it wrong, but I mean, what kind of chess player am I if I'm not going to kind of form my own opinion of the position, right? E3 looks weak. Yeah, okay, but it's all about the king, right? I think I should be able to make some play. I sure feel like I should do this. And then G6. Why is this not super strong? What am I missing? I don't understand. Because when I push G6, this is a big problem. Look at this. F5, okay, he just gives me E6. And look at this queen, guys. Look at this queen. Royalty my butt. Okay, is he gonna try like h5 to make some freedom? I think I should just take it and then see what he does. You know, why not? All right, capture that. Okay. Why not push here and tickle this? Maybe he tickles the e3 square, but I mean, sure, surely I can let e3 go for activity. Look at this queen. I've got to be able to play this in an active way. Also, if he goes in here, I can, I can nab this. So I'm t attacking his loose piece. Why not just take here? There's also an idea of knight c7. I want to get this queen in here for mate, obviously. Um... Okay, what about take here, knight here, queen here? And then he'll probably go back to c4. I could even take on f6 and push g7. <laughs> wow, that's funny. I don't know, bishop takes f5 feels good. All right, let's just go for it and see what he does. I could also just retreat. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, he takes on e3, so he's attacking me on the square. Okay, queen e5, very sensible. Um, after a trade, and my queen takes, I'm obviously just threatening to move the knight with major consequences, and rookie 8 is off the table. Should be off the table. Maybe I gotta move my knight first, but it looks really good. Queen e5, knight c4, trying to tickle my queen. Queen e5, knight c4. Um, boy, would I like to get into his king position. Hmm. Maybe it's not possible, though. Queen e5, knight c4. Might be a problem. So, just bishop back. Bishop back still looks great. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, why not just bishop h3? I don't need to force this position. All right, bishop h3. Parthenope has raided with a party of 87. Thank you, Maria. Parthenope is Maria de Rosa. If you don't know her, she's awesome. She's Italian and she runs great streams. She does awesome things for Chesscom Italian. Um, just uh, love, love everything that she's doing. If you don't know what she's doing, check her out. Okay, I could still jump in here or I could move this knight when I think he's gonna try and take here. You know, it's, it's also defended. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good point, it's defended. Um, I could go here, because I'm attacking this and this. Actually, that, isn't that great? Knight there, because if he t takes on e2, I can take his rook with big threats. Yeah, knight c7, knight c7. In we go. In we go. This feels great. I'm attacking all his things. I'm playing basically with a queen advantage right now. Well, okay, a queen versus a rook. <laughs> That's what we're playing with. We've got a queen versus a rook. Those are the odds that we're playing with right now. Okay, four minutes to 7.30 for 
Alexander. Okay, so he takes there, and I feel like I gotta take this. Or wait, do I have check and mate? I have forced mate. Bishop e6 check, and then queen to d6 is mate. Right here in the center of the board. I don't need to take the rook. Queen d6, mate on the board. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank my opponent for the game. Oh. That is... That is the first time I've beaten a Grandmaster in, you know, more than a Blitz game, I think.